Hi, I'm Anna, a civil engineering student here at Valpo, and today we're at the College of Engineering where we're going to see some of the labs where students and faculty engage together in hands-on learning. Valpo's undergraduate engineering program ranked 13th nationally on the best undergraduate engineering programs in 2021. A really awesome fact about our college is that 99% of our 2019 graduates were actually in graduate school or in jobs within six months of graduation. Valpo gives students the opportunity to explore four-year degree programs in bioengineering, civil, computer, electrical, environmental, and mechanical engineering while still pursuing other interests. Engineering students receive a well-rounded education and participate in Valpo's Honors College, NCAA D1 athletic teams, music, student organizations, and unique minors like mechatronics and humanitarian engineering. So today, we're going to see the electronics lab, the 3D printing lab, our new environmental engineering lab, and the only solar energy research facility at an undergraduate institution in the United States. Let's go ahead and start our tour in the accelerated 3D printing lab. The Accelerated 3D Printing Lab allows our students to expand their creativity and for them to learn how to convert their ideas into physical products. These Spider Delta 3D printers are the most used in this lab and can be used to print hand-sized objects like this. A lot of our mechanical and bioengineering students use these printers every single week, and some of our bioengineering students are even using them to print prosthetic hands. Students are encouraged to utilize the lab's variety of additive manufacturing technologies, laser cutters, soldering station, and various hand tools. After going through a short training program, the students have free use of the machines. All right, so right now we are here in the electronics laboratory here in the Gellerson Center. This lab provides our computer engineering students and our electrical engineering students with a solid foundation in the design and analysis of analog circuits. This room contains all of the equipment that an electrical or computer engineer would be expected to use in a professional setting. We use our lab fees to update this equipment regularly so that students are always seeing the current tools that are being used in the industry. There's lots of hands-on learning going on in this lab with award-winning electrical and computer engineering faculty members. The faculty are 100% dedicated to their students and they devote their time working with students to provide state-of-the-art research capabilities in nanotechnology, virtual reality, swarm robotics, and alternative energy. Now we're here in the Richard E. Boimer Environmental Engineering Laboratory. This lab is used by civil and environmental engineering students to perform water quality and environmental studies. In the environmental engineering program, students find solutions for mitigating, assessing, and remediating contaminants in soil, air, and water. Students in both environmental and civil engineering are able to study treatments for drinking water, domestic and industrial wastewater, stormwater runoff, and contaminated soil and groundwater. In civil engineering, students cover six areas, environmental, geotechnical, materials, structures, transportation, and water resources, in depth with integrated lab experiences and also design project experiences throughout the four years. Here you'll develop the teamwork and communication skills needed to lead sustainable development initiatives that protect our environment and improve the quality of life for people in the region and around the world. And for our last stop, we're gonna head over to the solar research facility. The James S. Markowitz Solar Energy Research Facility puts Valparaiso University on the cutting edge of solar energy research. These 306 curved mirrors concentrate light into our solar furnace and it gets really hot, up to 3,000 degrees, and causes chemical reactions. This 2,000 square foot facility is the only one of its kind at an undergraduate institution in the United States. Electrical and mechanical engineering students utilize this facility for both projects and research. Thank you for taking the tour with me today. If you want to know how you can be your best you, you can visit the College of Engineering website or get in contact with your admissions counselor. There's a lot more to see, so we hope you visit soon.